DeFi Slate team. It's your boy Andy and welcome back to the DeFi Slate YouTube channel. Smash the like button on this video that really helps us out and sit back and enjoy the content. Thank you very much. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the DeFi Slate YouTube channel. It's your boy Andy today talking about an important concept in DeFi, uh, which is reliable insurance and making sure that everybody is protected from all sorts of things that have happened in DeFi. Uh, recently, there's been a whole lot. Um, and yeah, I had the pleasure today of speaking with Rupert, uh, who is working on Amulet Protocol. Uh, let him give him a little brief intro kind of about what he's been up to, maybe some insights into some alpha at Crypto Bahamas and kind of uh, what, what you're building at Amulet. All right. Well, uh, look, buddy, uh, thanks very much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Um, so at Amulet, we are, we are uh, DeFi insurance protocol. In fact, we're the first DeFi insurance protocol on Solana. Uh, we recently came out of, of Stealth. We were, we've were we been building since about November, but we haven't told anybody about it until a few weeks back. And, uh, and so we're now... Yeah, you know, furiously working on our platform to release uh, towards the back end of June, start of July. Yeah. So um, you were talking about Crypto Bahamas. The uh, yeah. that was a, that was that, that was a pretty rad show. So uh, I don't I uh, I don't know if you you, you got to uh, make it down there, but uh, it was a really interesting uh, uh, setup where uh, we were down there as part of Hacker House for Solana. And uh, they kind of dumped us in a in a in a space with a whole bunch of uh, of institutional folks as well, and it was a it was a a, a weird mix, but it's also like the I, I think it's the mix of where DeFi is going to go towards, and uh, and then as far as Alpha goes, um, I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about, but there there is some uh, really cool and exciting things happening with uh, with Amulet over the next few weeks of you know deals that we were able to close just by being close with people um uh, over at uh, crypto bahamas so yeah it was a really worthwhile event for us nice fantastic yeah i haven't been to a, an event since east denver uh, earlier this year in february which is fantastic um and uh then there's always just so much going on um at the event so i'm glad that you had a good time and um you know we're, we're able to get out there and maybe just preach what you guys are, are trying to build <laughs> um so why we solana did, did Wait, you uh well before we do that did you manage yeah. to get the east denver flu on on your way no, back no i did not struck down yeah the whole I, of our uh, team the whole of our team I, got struck yeah down. i bet i did the uh east lisbon and partied every night and then so uh, for east denver i was a little bit more conservative with my body and i think i saved myself <laughs> yeah um so yeah so why solana why it's a solana? good question yeah um in short, for uh, for us, we see it as the uh, the biggest rival to the Ethereum uh, ecosystem. They're growing at five times the the, the rate of uh, Ethereum at, at that kind of stage in their evolution. Now, there's a lot of hating on on Solana at the moment. There's a lot of you know issues with uh, the centralization and the speed of the network and the bugs and this that, and the other. But th these are all normal in our in our eyes. We were there at the beginning of Ethereum. We we, we saw what happened when CryptoKitties was launched and it crashed the whole network. You know, this is not this is not unusual in uh, crypto. And I think we also just got to remember that, that they are an early stage uh, business as well. But so the, it's the speed and the growth of the network that was one of the big drivers for us to, to pick it. But what's core to what we do is the way that they run proof of stake as well. So what's different about Amula and other DeFi insurance platforms is that other DeFi insurance platforms take your capital and, and they the user is underwriting capital for those people who are taking up policies. Now that system works fine until you need to pay out a claim and when you pay out a claim you've got to disappoint one party or another because if you pay out that claim you know the policyholders are happy but the stakers are unhappy because it's their capital that's been taken right uh if you don't pay out that claim then you you disappoint those people that have got policyholders so you're gonna have to disappoint one party or another and we've seen that kind of execute over the last couple of years on other DeFi insurance platforms and in fact in traditional insurance as well so what we do that's that that's core to, to us and very different than, than other uh, platforms we use a, a proof of stake validator um for the, the for the solana network 
And by running that validator, that generates a yield. We take state capital, we put it into a validator, that generates a yield. And it's that yield that we use to pay out the claim. So we don't actually touch the 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 uh, the initial state capital. We, we do everything on power to avoid touching that initial state capital using these pools of other reserves to protect um, state assets. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So so the 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 underwriter model isn't really applicable here then. Well, I, I mean, for sure it is in terms of that we still need underwriting capital, um, but we we generate that capital, the main pool of that capital from the yields, and then we uh, we top up that uh, that pool from the premiums, and then at set points during our, our evolution, we will be releasing those premiums and and um, uh, and yields back to the, those who staked with us. So that that's the reasoning for why people want to stake on the um, on Amulet over a another uh, DeFi insurance protocol. But there's there's other um, benefits as well of being on the Solana network. And I should preface as well, whilst I'm droning on about uh, Solana, we are a multi-chain solution. We've just built on Solana first. And you know, one of the big things about Solana is liquid staking, right? And um, so people come into Lido or they go into Marinade and they they stake their soul and they're given um, ST Sol or M Sol. Those derivatives you can then stake into additional platforms. And we are one of those platforms that accepts both Lido and uh, and Marinade uh, and their and their derivatives to so you can farm and yeah earn more through our platform as well. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the. Uh liquid staking is going to keep i think i think my my mic just switched but it's okay the concept it did yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the concept of liquid staking is um is something that, that's going to change over over DeFi as we see people start to use these alternatives of like a a denominated asset that is yield bearing always um and kind of as you say like you're relying on a validator's yield to be able to uh, assist in the payout of of claims um you know what are your what are your overall thoughts on like what you or what DeFi insurance protocols should, like should be willing to insure like is there a set of criteria that, that you guys have thought about kind of like what crosses your mind on that front yeah absolutely so obviously we're we're in that position that we need to de-risk the proposition as much as possible. The lower the risk of the, the protocols that we're insuring, the lower the risk of the, the capital that we generate to uh, our users. And, 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 and in, in fact, um, the, the, yeah, the, the lower the risk that we have to, to pay out on claims. So what we, uh, what we do is we put everybody through a, an auditing process to start with. We have our own internal auditors. Um, uh, all of our team have come from uh, IBM Security Labs and IBM Blockchain Labs. So we really uh, do understand, you know, uh, you know, blockchain from uh, and smart contracts from a very base level up. And so uh, we we audit internally ourselves. We also review the other audits from people done uh, that people have had done by Certic or by Kodolsky or Quantstamp or, or or whoever it may be. And we look for any potential vulnerabilities or any potential chinks in the armor. Now, a single smart contract might be very much simpler for us to uh, work with and ensure than something that is multi-layered and multiple smart contracts on top of each other. So the premiums, therefore, get kind of associated uh, with both. But if you look at something like, uh, let's take Radium, right? So Radium is one of the, the uh, protocols that we will be insuring from day one. And with Radium... Um, you'd be looking at a premium of around 2%. Now, that might seem high out in the real world, in, uh, you know, uh, you know TradFi, but actually in crypto, we're so used to these very high-yielding products that actually taking 2% off the principal to know that your, your assets are protected is uh, a very reasonable uh, uh, figure indeed. And we're, and we're able to do that because of the risk involved. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, everything seems amplified in this world now. Um, do you guys, are you guys planning on doing stablecoin uh, risk like these? Uh, like, I think I saw like a sole UST yield pool that was pretty high. Uh, yeah. UST or any other algorithmic stablecoins, what are your thoughts on that? And like, yeah, how, so 100%. Yeah, how do you pay that out? Like, how do you know, how do you secure? Yeah. 
So um, th there are um, two main products that we're, we're styling uh, with, and those are ones that people are very used to in the marketplace. You've got um, smart contract risk is, is the main one. So that's when we're securing your assets when they're uh, staked into another person uh, and through another protocols platform. Uh, and then stablecoin DPEG. Uh, and so UST is a great example. UST is definitely one that we want to be uh, looking at uh, in ensuring. I can't guarantee it from day one, but there uh, will be very, very soon in the future that we will be doing um, stablecoin DPEG risk as a, as, a, as a cover that we want to do. And that is, you know, that that's a growing risk area that people are quite keen on, on having um, uh, covered because of these algorithmic coins that are not necessarily backed one to one by the US dollar. Now, the interesting thing about these two products that we've got is we have two different ways of claiming for those products. So if you have a stable coin um, uh, DPEG cover uh, and the, the, the stable coin DPEGs, you don't have to come to us to, to, to claim. We automatically pay out the, the, the claims on the, on the stable coin DPEGs. And that's because you know, everything's programmatic, you know, we know it has de-pegged by, let's say, 20% for the last 10 days, that's triggered the event and the smart contract and boom, your, your, uh, uh, your insurance is paid out. And that's very important to us, we need to make sure that we are, you know, you know true to our values in terms of we are protecting people and we're protecting their, their claims that come, as a, they come in. Now on the smart contract um, uh, cover, what we do is people submit a claim on our platform. They have to submit a little bit of evidence to do that, to show, you know, this is where the funds were stolen, et cetera, et cetera. And if we need more evidence, we'll then ask the, the, the uh, person to, to submit it. But essentially we will vet the claim initially. We then pass the data over to our community to vet the claim. And then if we're both in agreement, it gets paid out. If we're both in disagreement, it doesn't get paid out. And then if there's an imbalance of our uh, decision, we bring in a third party jury DAO, and that's where they review the evidence impartially and make the decision for us. Interesting. So it's like mediation with an, an arbitrary effectively that kind of Correct. brings, yeah, brings yeah. it all together. And and, and it's very clear, uh, you know, uh, it's a keen point to point out that everything's on chain, everything's recorded, everything's in, in fully visible to anybody that wants to look at it. And that's that's really keen uh, for us to, to kind of push out and point out that we, you know, we're not trying to hide any anything here. We're, we're not a, um, a flash in the plan, uh, flash in the pan. There we go, my, my jet lag kicking in the background there. Um, uh yeah you know protocol we're here for a very long time um we're we're building something for the long term and for the you know i mean hopefully that most people who interact in the the DeFi or web3 world will ultimately touch in one way or another amazing yeah um curious kind of like if you guys are planning on like uh using uh other core integrations with um you know either protocols on Solana uh, for liquidity or for, um, you know, in integrations for cover, um, or if there's a way that you guys have planned around some like overall partnerships, kind of like what's your uh, in integrations kind of looking like? Sure. So uh, as we go live, we'll be covering uh, Radium, Serum, Sabre, uh, Port and Tulip from memory. Those might be subject to change, but certainly the top three will be uh, uh, will be in included in our, in our coverage. Um, and so that's when we go live at the end of, sort of uh, June, July. Now, we like to have a relationship with every single uh, protocol that we onboard into the platform, and we do with all of those, I'm very pleased to say. And uh, yeah, as we go forward, we'll be onboarding a whole bunch of protocols inside the uh, Solana ecosystem. We're working on some pretty exciting and big deals with some large wallet providers and uh, looking to provide cover for all, all assets in a person's wallet. And uh, there'll be more on that to come, you know, kind of in, in, the, in the months um, months to come as we come to, to, to release. So that's, that's my, you know, my kind of excitement in this area is that we have a huge opportunity to cover everybody. I mean, look, there is no insurance in the Solana ecosystem, you can insure Solana products using ETH, which frankly doesn't make any sense to me. 
but you know if you've got soul and you want to ensure your your um your assets like there's nothing for you um nothing available so that's where we we fill that gap right now beautiful awesome and how can our community get involved as we kind of wrap up here um you know to contribute or to buy cover you know kind of what's the what's that look like what the big thing right now is joining our community as well. So uh, head on over to amulet.org. You've got all the connections there to, uh, to Twitter and, uh, and Discord. Discord's our main area where we like to chat. And uh, yeah, I look forward to welcoming you all into the, that community. Watch out for what we do. Watch out for for um, all the announcements that are coming. Uh, you know, when token, when Lambo, when Moon, all of those things are great questions. I love answering. And, uh, but more importantly, I, I want to know like what you think about the platform. I want to know what you want to have covered and, um, you know, what's important to you. So, you know, join the community, tell us and help us build the platform together. Beautiful. Thank you so much for coming on there, Rupert. It was, it was a pleasure and, uh, excited to see this grow, man. Brilliant. No, thank you so much for having me, dude. Cheers, man.